Morning guys, well my trip starts here. No, I'm not finishing washing the car before any of you drop in the comments. Um, no, time to get some fuel. And then I've got, I think it's about an hour of 40, hour 50 drive. Um, it's gonna be quite fun. It's a long time, I just got in the mini and it just makes you grin again. I can't wait to a road trip. We're going to Germany in this as well. So I'm treating this as a bit of a shakedown drive. So uh, right, let's get some fuel, breakfast, important, and we'll get on the road. So this is Rustable. Um, and I've been quite looking forward to this because it's going to be a little bit different and I, I'm up for that this year. A little bit different is what we need. And um, yeah, right. Let's jibber jabber. Or let's get on the road. So, catch you soon guys. We're pulling in to Gaydon. <coughs> Can't tell if I'm early, late, early, late, early, late. Oh yeah. You okay? Which ticket do you need, my? Uh, uh, you got that, have you? Yeah, and I've got it. You've got your ticket for the museum. Yeah, that's down there. Okay, that's fine. Yeah? Yeah, that's fine. So, right at the round, right? Sorry. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Here we go, let's go park up. Hi right, there, you okay? Uh, yeah, cool, so if you go down here, then take a right, there's, see that gentleman in the pink hybrid yep. over there? He'll direct you into this queue of a line of cars along here. Perfect, appreciate that, top. <laughs> Over there. Spot on, thank you. Where would you like me? You okay? How are you? All right. Um, I've just combed off this area for you guys to go in. So, do you want to take one of these spots here? I'll move the Face that way. Yeah. yeah. Right now I can officially say it. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. We're at Gaydon. I love that museum, it's awesome. But today it's Rustable Day, and I don't know if you can quite tell, but we'll go for a quick wonder. There's some really cool cars here, and I've seen a lot of Volvos, which is definitely going down very well with me. Um, I've got a really cool parking spot, which I'm very, very grateful for, so thank you for that. And um, yeah, let's go and have a gander. It's about cars, so let's get stuck in. So first off we start with Matt from Furious Driving. He's got three of his cars here. Very, very cool. So I have to admit, the Volvo is my favorite out of the fleet. I briefly saw it when we did that video together. I um, don't know if you remember, we did a video together on his classic Mini, which I'd love to do more on. And this thing is like a big land yacht. It's the brickiest of the bricks. It's very, very square. I love it, so. Very nice. The Y-Reg, I regret selling mine every single day. So I had a Y-Reg as well. 
uh, silver one. I have done a video on it and it's done very well to be fair. But this is a nicer, nicer example on I had and in the red with the red interior. It's lovely like that. And this, this Alpha, I don't think it was on the road when I saw it. But obviously it's out and about now. And um, yeah, look at that colour in the sun. But you can see the kind of car. So you've got the Alpha there and then you've got stuff like that. And then you've got a Ferrari. I think we're in for a very, very good day. So I'm going to grab some pictures and a bit more footage and really, really enjoy this because, oh, look at this. Oh, I'll show you that in a sec. Right, so I'd be lying if I said this didn't catch my eye. Number one, colour is beautiful. This is a 70, 71 maybe? What a beautiful thing. Love the colour. You don't see 144s about at all. That's a really, really lovely example. Yeah, we're going to be buying more Volvos. We're going to buy more junk, loads of junk. We need loads of cars. I wish I could have bought my Cobham Estate, but I think it did so well here. Um, oh, that's so nice. We need to get the Amazon done, don't we? Next to a, a Rover 800, which, if you watch the channel, you'll know I've got a bit of a soft spot for a Rover 800. I grew up with them. My family had three when I grew up. Um, we never had the later Vitez, but we had the early Vitez. Um, this is a later one. But what a cool car. This will be a two litre turbo. Can't beat a Rover. Let's go and have a propaganda around. Got a collection of Morris Miners here as well. Mrs S would be happy. Look at this. This is one of the one millionth ones, I think. Like a limited edition run they did. Look at that. This is a rare, rare beast. Oh, Tomcat, gotta love a Tomcat. You just don't see Lancia's about at all. Proper left-hand drive as well. I don't know much about these, so what is it? Lancia Therma. Lovely colour. Oh, 240. I love these wheels. Look at them, they're like smoothies. Coffin nose as well. Nice little collection of models. Very, very cool. I love the big 240 soft toy in the back. <laughs> Original dealer plates as well. What a cool car. in love with this Honda. How cool is this? You got the patina on the roof. My friend Mini Will would actually love this thing. That is so cool. Can't see too much in there. Look at that. Honestly paint is overrated. Same with this Renault next to it. Look at this Renault properly used. 
Morning. What a cool little thing. We bike too. Yes, yes, I found another Volvo. I really wish we finished the one we had. But I was so pushed for time to get out of that unit. It was um, the start of all that was really when I got rid of that. But it's something about the 300 series. I don't think people much like them. I don't think they're the most loved of Volvos. But it's such a cool shape. It really, really is. Well, you need your sunglasses for this one. Got the hat. What a cool little thing. It's danger, hot. Vauxhall Cavalier, when was the last time you saw one of them? Oh, I missed my 940. But there's a car over here that I've wanted to see for quite a while now. So uh, I'm gonna go check this out. So those of you who don't know, this is Whiteland Restoration's Volvo 240 called Monica. And if you haven't followed the build, go over there and follow it, go find their channel. Honestly, it's such a nice thing to see in the flesh. Proper Volvo MV here. What a cool thing. Got that. <laughs> These are a new new set of wheels they put on it. Image. What a nice set. Oh there he is. <laughs> I'm going to stop the filming now. This car was last washed in 64. It's the same year as mine. <laughs> Look at it. Look at that. Respect, man. Please get in touch. I'd love to see this car more. Simpsons Classics. Please get in touch. That is such a cool car. Right guys, sorry about the wind noise. If it's too bad, I'll try and do another outro, but I'm just having a little walk around now. Just been invited to an event by these guys. So I believe quite a lot of you watch my videos and you want to see more Volvo, and I want to see more Volvo, so it's gonna to have to happen, isn't it? Just walking past these here. <laughs> this event is really high, and look, there's a P2B70, we've got an S60 over there, an S80 over there, and stuff like that. It's a 740 over there. So um, I've had a really good day. Thank you to like Hubnut, Furious Driving and I Drive a Classic for this event. I haven't been to a, such a good car event in a long time. I've met so many nice people. I feel like I'm not being me in my car at all, so I do apologise if you came to talk to me. But honestly, what a car show. Such nice people. It's nice to see cars that people don't really appreciate anymore. Um, all these you know, cars that are dodging ULEs and stuff like that. And uh, honestly, what a refreshing thing to do. I honestly cannot wait for the next event. There best be one, as I want to be a bit more of a part of it as well. So just surrounded by a load of Morris miners here. <laughs> But yeah, we're, um, we're gonna get on the road now and I'll try and do a little bit more filming in the show, but I've really enjoyed this. So remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. Check our sponsors out in the description below. And um, whoops. <laughs> Actually actively giving him a nudge.
don't know what's going on there. <laughs> but yeah, catch you in a bit, guys. Thank you very much for watching.